Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and uh, I wanted to say I'm really excited about doing the review for artists for the new Surface Pro. Not five, but five. So, uh, in honor of this special occasion, I wanted to do something different that I have never done for video before, and that's my hair. So, without further ado... Alright, let's get started. The new Surface Pro has almost exactly the same exterior as the Surface Pro 4. It's uh, 1.7 pounds, uh, almost exactly, and has one USB port, not USB-C, and a uh, power button, volume up and down, and a mini display port. The screen's pretty bright, and you can see it outside better than any other tablet that I've had. However, it's still not as bright as my iPhone 7 screen. All in all, it looks pretty much exactly like a Surface Pro 4 with slightly rounded corners. Uh, now to the important stuff. I sent an email out to Tablet Pro users to ask them what they wanted to see. And the number one request was jitter. So this is a jitter test on the Surface Pro 4 with the brand new pen. And as you can see, it's, it's not doing fantastic. Uh, obviously, if you go a little faster, it goes a little better. Here we are in the Surface Studio, which strangely enough, I actually thought was the best out of the three that I tested. Uh, has the smoothest lines at the slowest speeds. And then the brand new uh, Surface Pro. You can see the parallax is, is definitely improved and it feels just another level closer than the Surface Pro 4. Um, it feels very natural. And then the jitter on the new Surface Pro uh, really didn't seem any better, I would say slightly worse than the Surface Studio, a uh, little better than the Surface Pro 4. Uh, but I don't know if you're like me when I'm actually drawing. Uh, I don't really notice this. It's, it's really just when I'm doing a jitter test that I, I see this. And maybe that's just because I'm so used to uh, dealing with it for year after year. You can see I just did a smudge test. And then there's an option for sRGB and then the end enhanced. Uh, here you're seeing a lag test. I'm using a couple different size canvases. Um, almost every time I'm using the 300 DPI fan brush and then here I'm using a smaller normal pixel brush and it works great. Uh, there is lag here and then I'm demonstrating here in my BioZ while it's unplugged. This is fairly similar speed to a, a more powerful machine. Uh, all in all for the i5 I thought it performed well. Uh, it's fanless so it's extremely quiet. Uh, but it is not super fast. Uh, I will probably personally wait for the i7 variant to come out before I, I really uh, am willing to test again and commit. You can see here uh, I'm doing a demo of the tilt. In order for the tilt you need to use one of the actor brushes. I'm not sure what the name is, but it's the brushes with the little uh, pen or brush characters, not the brushes that show the pixels. Uh, the pixel image of the brush tip and that's that's how you can test the tilt it seemed like the image of the brush tip would not recalibrate to, to show rotation uh, so that was a little bit frustrating and it also seems like the tilt needs more work now it should be noted that the tilt and rotation feature is part of the pen and it is something that is going to be porting over to the Surface Pro 4, Surface Studio, and I don't know if it's going to port to more than that. Uh, now, you can see here in this portion that the rotation is not mapping correctly to the image in the top left. Here's a quick demo of what the brush tip looks like without tilt and rotation. You can see that the mapping of the uh, tilt is not in line with the twisting of the brush. It doesn't seem to pick up the twisting of the brush or pen or the direction of the pen correctly. 
Now I'm doing a demonstration here all the way set to best performance. In the next video, I will do one with it set to battery saver mode. Uh, here I'm demonstrating the pen pressure, which does seem to be noticeably better. I'm using an old Surface Pro 4 pen uh, for this test because the digitizer is on the screen, not on the pen, where the pressure sensitivity uh, upgrade uh, lives. So you can see there's a, a really nice, smooth bump in pressure sensitivity. Uh, so here's my high performance uh, kind of speed drawing video, uh, real, real, real world test. Uh, the I'm doing a time lapse for this, and it doesn't pick up the colors correctly. But uh, basically, when it's set to performance mode, again, it's super light. It's very quiet. It's very nice to draw on the. the pressure, the friction on the screen, all of it feels nice. Uh, it felt good. It felt really good to draw on. Um, but with the tablet set in performance mode, I, I got about 85 minutes of battery life. Um, well, I mean, I got half the battery drained in about 85 minutes. So I, I will do another test, like I said, in the next video. Uh, as well as testing in other programs. I know a lot of you wanted to see 3D software, Maya, ZBrush, and uh, a few others. So I'll be doing that in the next video. Please subscribe so that you guys are aware of when the next video comes out. It should be shortly. And uh, I will go into more detail with some of the other questions that you guys had, but I wanted to get this video out quickly. Um, all in all, I'm still up in the air. I'm not sure exactly what I think. Uh, after my next test, I'll know a bit better for battery life.